You hear the call of the wild down there, AKA the RD400 just got fired up that we've been working on for two months. And uh, Jeff Castine almost, the minute mechanic, we almost lost him. He almost died on this thing, almost hit a telephone pole. These are very dangerous machines. If you're not a professional, you gotta be careful. Check this out. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hi Jackie. Hi Jackie. Hi oh, good boy. Listen to this thing. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> it's got the manic mechanic too, baby. Okay, Jeff. You got to come clean. We heard you almost died on this thing. Uh, Ronnie, tell us your version. because All right, so like a month ago, I seen Jeff testing this thing, right? It had no tank on and it had a bottle. Hold Just on. like this. My man was tuning the carburetor while doing like a one-handed wheelie down the street and then <laughs> a telephone pole came. And I was like, holy shit, but he's good though. Tell him about, he told me he went up on, he went up on the sidewalk so too. He, so he was, he was riding, riding a one-handed wheelie down the street. Down the street. A car with this came, bottle, balancing the bottle, trying to came, adjust the carburetors. Popped on the sidewalk real fast and then did something else and then he bought it in. And I was like, holy shit, man. You have anything to say about that, Jeff? Uh, I could be fibbing a little. <laughs> <laughs> you want to candy coat that a little bit? <laughs> so that was funny. Ronnie told me the story and we heard you fired up. Man, we got to talk about oh, yeah. this, Jeff almost dying on this thing. This thing's an absolute freaking rocket chip. Uh, this is Mike Generos. Uh, he's the 12 time AMA national championship in the 50 and 60 plus class motocross rider. He's been running these things. This bike right here. Uh, this, I believe this was his second RD. He bought this brand new in 1977. Um, it's a one-owner bike. He's had it forever. The, he, he, he uh, obviously, being a, a um, two-stroke motocross racer forever, he had all the right connections to have the engine done. He had the engine professionally ported. He had the chambers put on it. The man in mechanic put these brand new Makuni. Want to describe the carbs for us, Jeff? Yeah, well, those are from Sudco. It's a uh, Makuni kit for this RD. Um, I don't know if they're 28. I don't remember what size they were, but what's this right here? It, 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 well, that's it, it, that's the stock air boot, but the, the air box is missing and it's got a wide open K and N on there. Show them the K and N in this thing. It, this thing howls, doesn't it? Yeah, this thing pulls good. I was impressed with it. So I just got done bleeding the filling the injector tank and bleeding the oil pump and waited till the oil came out of here. But I've been running it on two T two T two until the Oil started coming out here. Now I'm plugged in, and now I can run it on regular. I'm gonna go up and get some uh, Shell V power for this for you. So when you okay. test it, it, it's spicy. <laughs> That's a man in mechanics' favorite fuel, Shell V power. Why is V power the best pump gas you can buy? Well, it's, the, it's 93 octane, so it's the most octane we can get, and then it's enriched with nitrogen. It just makes. I have a dyno, and just putting that fuel in your bike is good for three horsepower from regular gas. Some people spend 10 grand on engine mods to get three horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. So I've been running that in my lawnmowers and everything. I run the Shell V Power. Uh, take a close look at this thing, man. Ronnie and the boys down in the detail shop put an obscene amount of time into this. This thing was taken right down in the frame. Uh, the wheels um where the wheels the show get up and close and personal on the wheels they were vapor blasted in our vapor blasting tank and then carlos polished the entire rim of them like chrome the forks have been polished and rebuilt the discs have been polished the caliper has been rebuilt it's got braided stainless lines this is a brand new chrome rd 400 front fender um it's just an absolutely ridiculously beautiful piece i, I sent a picture of this in a video when it first got done and mike's wife i, po I posted it on facebook and tagged mike in it and she said it, it, he literally started crying he had tears in his eyes when he saw the thing because it just just like you know touched his heart you know uh you know it's, it's a, it was a big part of his life but he's up in his mid-60s they moved to florida downsized wanted to move on uh i think he kept uh, one or, he kept his race bike and, and one street bike and sold us the rest of them, whole truckload of bikes. But I wanted to do this right for my buddy Mike and uh, make sure that, um, you know, this thing was given the, 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 the um, respect, admiration, and uh, attention that, that uh, a world-class one-owner RD400 deserves. 11,000 miles, brand new top end, brand new carbs, brand new chambers, new clutch. Everything's new on the bike. Tires, brakes, look, show them the chain. Um, th this exhaust was professionally polished by Carlos in house here. I like chrome. They're not usually chrome like that. The wheel didn't look like this. Didn't have the chrome, the chrome edge on it. Um, it was from the factory, a naked rim, i.e. no paint on it, but it's been vapor blasted, super clean. 
Just a dime. Carlos also painted the aluminum, uh, uh, or polished aluminum factory side cover. It's been painted. Stay tuned for more on this one. Um, just an absolute joy to ride these RDs. My friend who ran one of the first jobs I ever had when I was a kid working at the Honda shop, Mickey Finn's on the, on the Berlin Turnpike, the, the shop manager who just retired literally like three years ago from there after 40 something years, he had a Honda shop, could have rode any Honda he wanted for since 1970, I think 78 when he got it. He rode an RD400 as his daily for, for what, 40 years? Still has it. He's retired, but their kick-ass bikes. There's a reason. There's a reason why he rode this instead of any of Honda made their really unique kick-ass machines. Thanks for watching. Let me show you what else we got cooking. We got a um, we got a uh, aluminum frame service Honda 500 about ready to come up. So we're doing some videos on that. Um, we've also got this KX250 right here. We've got the 520 MXC, which is absolutely stunning. Um, I think. Um, didn't, didn't you do the swing arm on this one? Yeah. yeah. Brian, Brian did the swing arm on this one. Polished that. The whole thing's, Wizard did the whole frame up on it. We got an 83, or is it an 82? Uh, YZ125 coming down the pike. Um, stay tuned. Lots more killer bikes coming your way.